Welcome to TradeGameGuy.com. This is John. This report is for the second. And well, what a way to start out the month. We could see the build taking place. Obviously, we've had the cyan under red, and then we saw it decaying, which meant that shorts were covering in this, and you had a massive short cover as we exploded to the downside, and that caused the market to just uh, extreme rally. Uh, we'd also seen the easing of the uh, red uh, DLC here, which meant that long-term buyers had uh, gone a little bit away from oversold, uh, overbought. I mean, and um, then you had the brand new pull of uh, short-term buyers as well as mid-term buyers, and they just skyrocketed into everything, and uh, that propelled us to new levels. Um, this is part of that. Uh, we saw the build right here of all the shorts adding into it, and they got squeezed in a hard way, and this is exactly what we were expecting, so it fit right within the uh, uh, narrative of where we were, and it was all just a result of uh, everything they heard from the uh, President's speech was uh, right in line with uh, pro-growth, uh, serious time, and it's exactly what the market wanted to hear. Uh, likewise for the NASDAQ, Dow breaking records, uh, that's putting additional pressure on the euro. Uh, we're right at the bottom line with the central banks uh, getting close to their fail-safe where they really jumped in hard down at the bottom. Will they be able to do the same? Uh, it's an interesting question because uh, as the French elections get closer, uh, the threats to the EU uh, just seem to be growing from a variety of different areas, uh, and that's really putting some downside pressure on them. Now, uh, look at this. Isn't that amazing how I said that this was a ridiculous move uh, going back here that we expected to be heading lower, and look at that, we broke right below the line uh, very quickly. and. Um, not a surprise. Uh, now, there's still a lot of questions as to what the Fed can do in that, but the reality is uh, rates are going to have to rise under a pro-growth uh, environment, and there's just no question about it. Um, oil is exactly where we expect it to be, so no changes with any of that. And uh, any little weakness in gold, I think, is an opportunity because um, it's also going to move to the upside, particularly if there's uh, uncertainty about over... Uh, done equities and the potential force on inflation to start. Now, the question on inflation, though, I think is still out because um, there's a fallacy of thinking that, you know, automatically uh, inflation rises because of growth, and that's not necessarily the case. It's really going to depend on uh, labor demand and um, whether or not some of these um, potential new opportunities are going to bring in uh, part of those 90 plus millions who uh, aren't participating. And uh, we heard that for the first time actually being recognized in the speech uh, that there is a significant pool of labor that has not been tapped into. And that is not going to create upside wage pressures. That's actually going to uh, uh, need to be filled in quite a ways before it does that and actually would uh, theoretically help uh, both revenues for the government as well as uh, reduce expenditures from uh, social need. So it has a compounding effect. Now, from a 5K, I was pointing this chart out here. Uh, let's go back a little bit because I thought it was poignant. Because this I get a lot where, you know, a move starts and we see these from the very earliest points. But as soon as you end up with dips in the shakeout and then a return to the positive, opportunities to buy back into a move. Same thing here, we had the softening shakeout, and then boom, turned around, secondary buy. And sometimes you'll see a market up 10, 15, 20 points, put in these new signals. As long as you have cyan under the red and uh, a rising um, steel, you have new opportunities. And you'll notice that when we do get overbought here with the orange over the 13.5, you'll notice all these signals came in with the shakeout with the orange below and the rising reset of the steel. And they become new opportunities. So even at plus 20 some at uh, 23.87, still ended up with uh, additional buy signals. And I think that's uh, important to note. Now, when you do get super frothy, you also have to be a little more cautious and realize that you know, you're going to have to take some gains going through here. Uh, what we ended up having on the last one ended up being a little bit neutral as we broke down. Right there was uh, 2390 something there and 96. So it was just a little bit positive before we started uh, a tiny little reset and moved all the way back to oversold just that quickly. So we have an opportunity to move past uh, new highs which uh, 
freaks a lot of people out, but we hit that resistance at 2,400. That was a good solid number, and uh, I think that uh, people were excited to take some of the gains off that, but that's hardly a uh, significant retrace. Now, yes, it does present the problem that there's plenty of room down below and there will be some resets, but uh, in general, uh, spot on with uh, expectations, the readings, uh, and looked fairly good um, from our end of it here. Uh, some of the little adjustments that you wouldn't have noticed have made a few little alterations in uh, how this worked out, but um, very happy with uh, some of those alterations. So, all in all, fantastic stuff. I'll keep posting on the Skype chat, but uh, yesterday was just one of those days where you just keep on going with it. You got to go with the trend until it changes. And uh, in this particular case, we've been long the market uh, for quite a while. I mean, this goes back to the 2280 uh, buy, and I posted that uh, little matrix there where it's just a matter of letting it go and sometimes just letting those uh, runs move. Uh, particularly when we see these accumulations, we saw it again at the 2360. And we were expecting that we would get anywhere from a um, 60 to 90 point move, which means there's potential over the 2400 for that to uh, complete that full cycle. Now, if it failed, I would expect a much uh, larger retrace. Um, but overall, uh, when we see that kind of accumulation build at particular levels, uh, and as far as from the one from the 2280 range, uh, we ended up with uh, well over 100 points on it. So right in line with the uh, targeted expectations. So it's beautiful when that works out like that. As always, though, look for me on Skype chat. Trade well.